So, um, what we're going to go ahead and do today, we're going to add some games onto our soft modded Wii via the slot on the USB. Um, now, with the Wii, it has to be the slot closest to the bottom, um, which would be the side with the power button and eject button on it. So, anyways, the first step in this, we're going to go over, click on computer here. We want to make sure that we have um, our USB drive formatted to FAT32 default allocation size 2048 bytes quick format and then just click start once that is complete um, assuming you've already downloaded the backup manager um, you would need to get an ISO so here is my ISO 4.37 gigabytes now here's the funny thing about FAT32 um, it has an allocation size so you can't add anything I believe over 4 gigabytes as it says right there, it's too big by 0.37 gigabytes. So, here is where the backup manager comes into play. And not only that, not only is it going to get it below, you know, 4 gigabytes there, sometimes it'll split it depending on the game. A lot of times it'll just compress it, which uh, USB Loader GX does play compressed ISOs, so that's awesome. So, load Wii Backup Manager, there's a 32 bit and 64 bit running 64 so that's the one I clicked on you have to leave it in this folder you can go ahead if you want to watch my video on putting a custom icon on the folder so you can have it on your desktop without looking ugly um, you know see my video um, otherwise you can just you know change the icon and use something that's on your computer uh, forgot where I stored mine All right there Windows icons so here are the icons I had created, but anyways, that's a whole different, whole different story. So anyways, whatever you want to do there. So now that we're inside here, um, also you guys will be seeing a few more options. I have mine. Uh, I don't have my games in the downloads folder, so it won't automatically link there. And I don't have the database up because I don't ever really look at it. You guys can do whatever you want to do. We are paying attention to files, DVD, Drive 1 and 2 today. Drive 1 and 2 um, is if you have you know, more than one um, storage device plugged in you know, that you want to put games on. Let's say you want to put games onto the one that plugs into your Wii and also onto your, you know, say, an external hard drive to save all those files. Um, you would use Drive 2. So anyways, what we want to do first, click on Drive 1. Select your USB, valid drive, no WBS folder, create it. Once we're done with that, go ahead. Um, we'll talk about DVD really quick. So, I don't have a game in my drive, but if you want, you can. Uh, <laughs> pretty funny, actually. Um, well, funny depending on who, you know sees this, if Nintendo sees it, they probably won't think it's very funny. Uh, you can, or, or Redbox, I guess. You can go to a Redbox, rent a brand new Wii game, put it into your disk drive, it'll pop up right here, you'll select it, transfer it to your drive one, you just paid a dollar for a fifty dollar game. Um, and you know that, and that's if you want to do that, you know, it, it, it's all, all depends on the person. So anyways, uh, going to add the ISO now, so files, add, Mario Party 9, it comes with the game ID, you know it's a good one, so we will go ahead, um, select it, transfer it to drive 1, and that will just take a few minutes to load. I believe the Wii supports up to like a terabyte. It might support more now, I'm not really sure. But anyways, you also want to make sure you have a fresh copy of USB Loader GX. Um, just Google it, it's easy to find. And 
also depending on if your Wii still plays discs or not, uh, if it was manufactured before 2011, you can rip games from it. Uh, so like mine, I have uh, the RVL001, I believe, so it's like one of the first ones. And uh, mine can also play DVDs, so I can watch movies on mine. I think the, one of the cool things about it is they brought back, you know, the old school controller um, for the games you can download. And so you can use that old school controller with, I don't know if you saw, probably not, I think it went straight to that folder. I have like Nintendo ROMs and everything here. So, uh, yeah, be able to play that with the old school controller, it's pretty cool. So once it gets to the end, it's going to stall for a little bit. Don't worry, it's not freezing up. Um, at the end of almost every game, there are the security files. Um, if it's a disk image, which you know that's what an ISO is, it's you know basically the disk image. Um, there are the security files that you know allow the game to say, okay, hey, I'm really one of Nintendo's original games, uh, so play me. And so it gets to the end here and installs a little bit. You know, writing those over, but it should be done any minute. That's the same for you. You know, like I said, any game. If you uh, you know, go stick a GameCube game or uh, go stick a Wii game in your Xbox, it's not going to play because those security files are in a different location. And also, I believe the Wii might spin backwards. I, I'm not really sure. So, anyways, there's our game. It's right there. You want to absolutely double check. Right there. It'll also get the disk info in there, which is what it was just copying at the end. And uh, that is our game. So if it's uh, if it looks like this, go ahead and plug your USB device in. Uh, load up USB Loader GX and go play your game. So basically, I mean, that is it, guys. It's self-explanatory. You know, watching the video, you should not have any questions. Um, don't worry about the download, uh, downloads or database. It doesn't really matter. The log just tells you uh, what's going on, you know, what it did while it loaded that up. You can read through it if you'd like. I knew I saw a red air. What was that? Oh, that was when the, okay, WBS folder when we created it. Alright, so there it is, guys. Um, if you like the video, show it. Go ahead and like my video, please. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming for the Wii. Um, I've done everything I can for the original Xbox and the PS2. So moving on to the next soft modded system I have to uh, completely max it out. Not sure if I uploaded all the original Xbox videos or not. I'll have to go back and look. But, you know, ending the video now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or you know, just message me, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll be more than, you know, more than glad to help. Uh, if you need any files or anything like that, any channel forwarders, apps, anything like that, um, just let me know, and I'll go ahead and uh, give you the link. But thanks for watching, guys.